Christmas. I have had a wonderful Christmas thus far. Manly and I stayed up late last night talking about all the Christmases we've had. Do you remember your first Christmas? I believe I remember mine when I was about three years old and that Christmas was with my family. Well, every Christmas has been with my family. That's the most important part of Christmas. Oh, not the gifts that we surprise each other with, but the people that we bring around ourselves. <sighs> Well, the next year, we moved out of Indian Territory and back to the big woods of Wisconsin. We lived in a snug little cabin, and when it started to snow in December, it didn't stop. Mary and I were so excited to see snow at Christmas, and since the previous year, we hadn't seen any at all. We stood on chairs, pushed up against the window, and looked out across the gleaming snow and the glittering trees. The icicles that hung down from the bare branches were clear, just like glass. We played so hard that when night came, we were too excited to sleep. Have you ever had that happen? when you're just too excited to close your eyes and sleep? Oh, but you know you must sleep or Santa Claus will not come. So we hung our stockings by the fireplace, said our prayers and went to bed. Alice and Ella and Mary and I all shared one big bed on the floor. And in the morning, we all woke up at the same time. We looked in our stockings and something was in there. We had each received a pair of ripe red mittens and a piece of peppermint candy, red and white striped. Everyone was happiest with their Christmas gifts. And I, I was happiest of all, for I had a doll. Oh, she was a beautiful doll. Oh, when she was new, she had a white cloth face with black button eyes, and her cheeks and mouth were red from crushed poke berries. And her black yarn hair had been knit and then raveled so that it was curly. And her first dress was a pretty blue and pink calico. I love my doll so much, and I named her Charlotte. <laughs>